is. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Joni. cognitive expert and author of Enlightened Now says that pessimism is so prevalent in society right now that people actually believe that progress isn't possible. And National Institute of Mental Health says that anxiety is growing at such a pace that it's at an epidemic level. Now in my mind, the two things are definitely related. Okay, so so many people listen and watch the news day in and day out and several times a day they're checking the news and the news loves to report bad news so they're telling you about the the best natural disaster that's out there they're telling you about all the bad things that people are saying and doing to each other this is what's happening so it makes you think that the world is a dangerous place so what, <laughs> so what we have here is really a form of brainwashing. It's mind control, and we're all accepting it. So this is what happens. So you're listening to the news, watching the news day in and day out, and you're talking to your friends about it all day long, friends and family. So you get to the point where you actually believe those things that they're telling you. So it becomes a habit of thinking, which becomes hardwired in the brain. And that's what a habit really is all about. Okay, so, so many people out there, and I'm sure you've run across them, have a very negative world view. And the thing is, is that it's not necessarily true. And it isn't true. Things are actually better than ever. We are living in the best time that humankind has ever lived in. We have access to most of us have access to food, shelter, and clothing. Very few of us are living in, in abject poverty anymore. So this intense negativity and pessimism totally disrupts the mind, the brain, and the body because it creates chronic stress. And chronic stress has only one effect. It ruins your health and your sense of well-being. So what can you do to protect your mind, your brain, and your body? Well, you gotta know where you stand first. You see, I made some horrible mistakes in my life, but I overcame the pain that came along with it. I overcame the disappointment of my husband's botched mastectomy, an unwanted pregnancy, two abortions, terrible knowledge of what I did to my unborn daughter and also a cancer scare all in one year. And I did not overcome all this pain for nothing because now I am creating a positive and powerful difference in the world. So I left my career as a professional engineer. I went back to school to study Chinese medicine and then later on the mind and the brain. And then out of that, I created a diagnostic process that tells you where your weak areas are and it also tells you why you have the problems that you're experiencing now. 